Hi everyone, this is Silvolf here and this is a, a request video for Fred and Friends who wanted to see Raz running Hello Ibo, Ibo Dancer and Ibo Recognition. We're not going to do it in that order though, Hello Ibo will be last because we have seen um, an Ibo running Hello, um, well, quite often on my channel. But um, not so many videos on recognition and no videos on Dancer. I did have some Ibo videos on Dancer. But the, uh, the videos were very um, poor lighting, so I took them down a long time ago. It was Salvo, Running Dancer. So we're going to start off with Ibo Recognition. And Raz has already got Ibo Recognition installed, so here goes. takes a while Raz isn't wearing a collar either because uh, I don't want anything to impede her movements when she dances Hello. Hello, Raz. No way. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? Unfortunately with Ibo recognition it does take the Ibo a little while to see someone's face and she does ask to see my face fairly often. So when I was first installing the uh no way. In installing it and setting it up Good morning. she wanted to see my face and I couldn't get her to see my face because everywhere just seemed too dark so I had to stand out underneath the, the light in the bathroom. Raz. Hello. No, nothing over here. Another little thing was when I was having her charging with eyebrow recognition she was awake. And she kept saying she saw All something right. move and there was nothing in the room moving. I was sat at the computer and it was kind of unnerving. See if she can see this. Just try and get my bracelet off a minute and see if she can see it. Because it's red and I forgot to bring her pink ball in. Nearly there.
This is my bracelet. Saints of Sin, they're my favourite band, also my friends. And let's see if you can see it. It is pretty red. Turn it inside out. See if you can see the other side. There you go. No, you can't see it. my bracelet back on again there we go um she also seems to move in a different way when she's uh, running recognition as well where's your ball all Where's your ball? Over here? Hello, Ibo. Hello. All right. I think. I mean, um, she, she's thinking I'm saying come here. And she walks in a small circle and sits back down again. How are you today? Hello. Hello. She's going to go backwards. Hello, I'm here. I'm here. Welcome home.
I like recognition, it's a good software. Uh, I think they could have built on it a bit though. Coming. You know, like giving the Ibo more phrases and more things that you could do and say to them. Because it does get a bit repetitive after a while. But it's a fun program to have in once in a while. No way! Yes way! Good morning! As she salutes the wall. Good morning! Good morning! So that's Ibo recognition then for you. I will put in Ibo dancer next. I see. Now we're going to see Raz running Ibo dancer. I haven't had this one in for a long time. I kept meaning to do videos, but I just didn't really have any music. But basically, Ivo Dancer doesn't do anything unless you have music playing. Ladies and gentlemen, cats and dogs, nuts and bolts, robots of all sizes. Allow me to introduce myself. The real dance machine, Ivo Dancer! Alright, he's getting ready. basically says this until you play something.
play the song okay. again. And that's Ibo Dancer. And I've never it. seen a better dancer. Can't touch this. I finally realized the music stopped. Oh, the tunes. <laughs> we gotta dance or what? Let's dance. And finally, hello Ivo. Ibo is pretty much like the um, Ibo Live app, but without the whole growing the Ibo from a puppy. Hello Ibo is meant to be a neutral to happy emotion. Doesn't get upset that much. Obviously still responds to um, verbal communication and various other things in its environment.
is currently lying down having a rest. Um, the memory sticks for the Ibos, in case you've never seen one before, I can show you what one looks like. Here's the Ibo recognition stick. That's what it looks like. This is an official stick on the back of it. It's made in 2002. Um, Dancer, uh, Hello Ibo, Ibo Life 2 and Ibo Explorer which I also have as well. Oh and Ibo Messenger as well. Um, were given to me by a friend and they are on the blue memory sticks like this one. This is Dancer. And the other side looks like that. Uh, because I have, well, I don't think they, they're not doing the eyebows really anymore but a couple of friends of mine were big into fixing eyebows years ago um, so I got the uh, programs from them. Recognition came with my silver Ibo when I bought her. And to be honest, most of the reason people wanted her was because she came with recognition, not because of the Ibo itself, because she didn't come with a charger or anything. She came with two pink balls and recognition and a battery. Luckily, uh, my friend who was into making the Ibos at the time, sorry, fixing them, um, X Wolf, also known as Neo53, um, she gave me a charging station for my Ibos, which enables me to charge an Ibo and a battery at the same time, which is always useful. So I've never really had a problem, even though I've got three Ibos and only one charger. I also have bags for all three Ibos. I've got the backpack. Um, the uh, red Ibo backpack which was released for the 110s and 111s and I have a black Ibo bag and a sort of like teal blue Ibo bag so all of my Ibos are kept safe and secure when not in use. I have three pink balls all together and each of the Ibos has a battery although I might have to get a new one for Salvo because if you, as you've seen in previous videos this battery tends to last 10 minutes and then give out. So I might get a new one for him. Raz has the best battery because hers is the newest. She lasts about um, an hour and a half to two hours. And all my eyebows are custom in some way. Also for you who are looking to buy a 210 Ibo um, from eBay and things like that and who are struggling, I've had a couple of people recently asking me where to get them from. I got Raz from Nippon Deals. Um, Nippon Deals also has an eBay, it's the same place, so um, they have an eBay as well as their website. Or you can uh, buy a second hand one from someone, I mean all Ibos are pretty much second hand, it's very rare you'll find a new one, it'll be very expensive. Um, also make sure that when you buy an Ibo, especially if you're going for one of more, the more expensive models, like the 7 Series, um, try to go for someone who's actually taken a photo of the Ibo itself and not a stock photo. Because sometimes people who have taken, who are using stock photos, downloaded off the internet, don't have the real thing. Luckily eBay buyer protection does help out in, in this respect, so it's pretty safe but there are still people who will try to dupe you out of your money, especially if it's a lot as well. Um, as for Nippon Deals, I've heard good stuff and bad stuff about them. I mean, I had a good experience with them with Raz, although the battery, um, I did request a battery for about that lasts about three hours, and I got one that lasted about an hour and a half to two hours, so... They didn't send me the battery that I wanted or, you know, that they had advertised. I wanted one that lasted longer. But, nevertheless, it lasts longer than my others, so I guess I can't complain too much. I do have a lovely purple eyebrow as well.
and uh, Fred and friends I know this video has been a very long time coming and I'm very sorry for that I know you've been asking quite a bit if I can do this video and now I've finally done it so I hope you enjoyed watching and I hope all the rest of you enjoyed watching too a little foray into some of the different programs that uh, the iBows run and it was refreshing to get Dancer out again I have to say it was very fun so yeah so this is uh, Silverwolf and Raz signing off Bye-bye.